Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago, and welcome to the Bourse Report. Well, earnings season has kicked into full gear, and today we're taking a look at the nine-month results of West Indian Tobacco Company Limited, or WITCO, and Trinidad Cement Limited, or TCL. Let's take a look first at WITCO, and for the nine-month period, ended September 20, 2018, WITCO reported earnings per share of just about $3.60, a commendable 10% increase over the $3.27 reported in the prior comparable period. Now, it was green, green, green line items right across the board, with revenues increasing some 9.6% to just around $688 million, while gross profits increased some 12.1% from $475 to $533 million. Profit before taxes uh, commensurately were up just around 10% from $390 to $438 million, and profits after tax was up from $276 million in the nine months of September 2017 to just over $300 million in the nine months of 2018. Now, while there has been a commendable increase, it, it comes after a very significant 26% decrease in the nine month period of 2017 from 2016 results where earnings fell from just around $373 million to that $276 million figure we quoted earlier. But it has been quite a commendable response in light of the competitive pressures faced by WITCO from illicit or suspected illicit products, and that is the black market trade for cigarettes, as well as substitute products in terms of vaping and, of course, higher taxes at the top and bottom line of WITCO's operations. Now, at a, a trading uh, a price of $90, WITCO is trading at a price earnings multiple of just around 18.6 times and offers investors a dividend yield on a trailing basis of just around 5.1%, which is comparably better value than the past four years where its price earnings multiple was a little bit on the higher end at just around 20 to 21 times, and that trailing dividend yield was on the lower end of just around 4.4%. Now, speaking of WITCO and in non-performance-related news, the company is hosting a special shareholders meeting tomorrow on which there will be a vote for a three-to-one uh, stock split in which case, if approved, the share price of WITCO, assuming the share price stays around $90, after the split will become about $30. Now, while this will have no, no direct financial impact on the performance of the company, there will be, there is a perceived impact to shareholders in terms of increased liquidity with more shares being in issuance at a relatively lower price, which creates somewhat of, a, of greater access to the everyday investor. So at the price of $90 and on the basis of improving dividend yields and financial performance, but again, against the backdrop of an overall weaker Trinidad and Tobago economy, for which 90% of WITCO's revenues are generated, both maintains a neutral rating on WITCO. Turning quickly to TCL, and for the nine-month period ended September 2018, TCL reported earnings per share of just around 2.3 cents, which is a 76% decline from the 9.7 cents reported in the prior comparable period of 2017. The good news is that revenues seem to have stabilized with a very modest 1.8% increase from 1.27 to $1.3 billion for the period. However, this was not enough to offset increases in expenses, in particular, manpower restructuring charges, costs or charges as the company goes through a phase of consolidation and rationalization of its workforce. Now, the revenue story is brought into more, into more light here as we take a look at the blue columns and we see that revenues have declined from just around $1.6 billion back in the nine-month period of 2015 to just around $1.3 billion right now. And it seems to have leveled off with just $1.27 billion being earned in the nine-month period, the similar period of 2017. Nonetheless, profits have continued to decline, falling from well, 57 odd million in the nine month period of 2016 to its current level of just around 29 million. And this is in the face, really, of increased competitive pressures locally with substitute products being available, as well as a generally weaker Trinidad and Tobago construction and economic uh, backdrop. Now, there may be a shift in focus coming for TCL, and recently, and by recently we mean in August of this year. TCL announced that it, was in, it had entered into a share purchase agreement to become the sole owner of TCL Guyana as it repositions itself to take advantage of the upcoming or expected boom that's going to occur in Guyana or that should occur in Guyana over the next several years. And as we can see, Trinidad and Tobago 
from a revenue story has played a much lesser role for TCL over the past few years, falling from just around 40% to just around 28%, whereas Jamaica has increased from around 34% to just around 50%. And Guyana, which falls into that yellow column, or just of, or has moved from just around 20% and is expected to increase over time. So at a price of $2.65, TCL is trading at a, at a multiple in excess in a very high 80s or 90s, uh, and that's a price innings multiple and there have not been any very consistent dividend payments by the company. So on that basis, BOSS maintains its sell rating on Trinidad Cement Limited, or TCL. That's it for this week's edition. For more information, give us a call at 226-8773, email us at invest at bossfinancial.com, or check out our website at bossinvestment.com. Have yourself a wonderful investing week. This has been the BOSS Report.